right the next example i'm going to give you is the idea around current and constant prices so here's what happens when national uh, figures are being compiled national accountants make use of uh, the current prices well we also call those nominal prices now when we want to compare one year with the other we cannot necessarily use um, nominal prices because of inflation because um, okay I'm going to give you an example just now I think I'm going to make use of bread all right and so so for us to compare year on year nominal prices will lie to us they give us the wrong impression so what we do is we are going to make use of what we are going to make use of constant prices so for us to keep prices constant we we have to find a base year and here's my example uh, i want you to take out a calculator or, or a pen just write this down as i'm explaining all right so let's assume that um we have okay i'll just make use of two years uh for simplicity so let's say last year okay you wouldn't know which year i'm referring to let's say 28 2019 so 2019 we all know that it was a better year than 2020 in terms of production because 2020 we spent most of it in lockdown at our homes doing nothing so there was not much production in 2020 than there was in 2019 we all agree with that right so here's my example let us assume that in 2019 uh, in south africa what we produced was uh let's say and let's assume that all that we produce in a year is bread so we then say in 2019 we produced 1 million loaves of bread now each loaf of bread is sold at one rand okay let's say 10 rand because that that would be ridiculous so what was the total production in south africa for 2019 well the total production for bread in south africa was 10 million rands because remember when we say gdp is the total market value so the market value is the price of the bread times the the number of loaves of bread that we produced in the year that's simple right so the total market value of all final goods and services and my my assumption right now is all that we produce in a year is bread because i'm trying to simplify things all right so we produce 1 million loaves of bread a 10 rand per loaf of bread that means our gdp is 10 million because uh, it's 10 times 1 million that's 10 that's 2019 okay then we move on to 2020 but the thing that happens in 2020 is that the price of bread goes up from 10 to 12 rand so if the bread goes up from 10 to 12 rand, but then the thing that happened in the in 2020 is that we produced 900,000 loaves of bread. So you can see that uh, we produce less bread than we produced the previous year, right? So if that's the case, then obviously we're expecting to see a drop in GDP, right? So then let's take our calculators out. Say 12, which is the 12 rand, the price for bread times 900,000. Okay, if you, if you multiply those two, you get 10.8 million. Now, I'm sure you are confused. Why is it that 2019 shows 10 million and 2020 shows 10.8 million? It looks like uh, we had an increase in GDP because from 10 to 10.8, that's an increase. But the truth is, remember I said last year, 2019, we produced what? Uh, we produced uh, 1 million loaves of bread. 2020, we produced 900,000. Uh, remember what I said? I said we produced less than we did the previous year. So this shows that uh, there is a decline. But when we look at the numbers, the numbers show us that there is an increase. You see that? So if there is an increase, then we are confused now. What is going on? So the point is, the, the, the increase is because of inflation. Prices went up from 10 rand to, to 12 rand. So that increase make it look like there was growth in our economy, but the truth is there wasn't growth. So how do national accountants solve the problem? They have to hold prices constant and they hold them constant uh, using what we call a base year. So in my example, I would say 20... 19 is our base year and then if we hold prices at constant 2010 prices 
then we multiply 10 by by 10 10 million uh, 1 million times 10 which is 10 10 million for 2019 for 2020 it will be 900,000 times 10 rand instead of 12 because 12 is the current so we use a constant price which is a price that stays this yeah, fine if i say that learners will start defining constant prices as prices that stay the same but uh, that's not how you want to define it all right so we use 20, uh, 10 rand that means we are holding our prices constant so we can compare to year on year so currently the reserve bank is using 2010 as our base year i'm saying this because the the, the document that i checked the last time they, they when they were calculating they say at 2010 constant prices so it tells me oh so that's the base year okay there was a question around this which which one is the current um year that the the reserve bank is using as their base year and i'm sure from now on they are going to use last year which is 2020 well i'm doing this in 2021 but for my example to make sense i had to compare 2019 with 2020 okay so i think you understand if you don't understand as usual comment down below ask me a question ask me what you think i did not clarify and then uh, I'll, I'll respond to you personally